There have been many patient experiences that have had a huge impact on how I practice, um, both successes and stories that don't end as well. But I think what's been most impressive is just the interaction that I've had with the families. And there's certainly one little girl who's still very much a part of my life who um, she had a really challenging first year of her life, required several open heart operations, several emergency trips on survival flight to the University of Michigan. And there was a day where um, we didn't think she was going to make it. She had had many arrests throughout the course of the evening and had called the family. And it was kind of, everybody knows I'm very involved and enmeshed in my patients. They knew like, Jenna's going to want to go talk to the mom. It's not something that I would have somebody else do. And going and talking to that mom, and I, even when I walked in the room, I, in my heart of hearts, I was telling her that we had to let go. And as I sat there and looked at her and said, you know what, there's not much else we can do, all of a sudden this light bulb went off in my head of like, I've got an idea. <laughs> and, you know, as I was telling her this, I'm like, you know, I do have one last idea of something we can try. And I... I I think it's worth trying for the next 24 to 48 hours, but I think we need to prepare ourselves that we're going to have to let go. And I conned the ICU physicians into doing it. They thought I was crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, just, just give me 24 hours. That's all I'm asking. Just give me 24 hours. And within 12, 24 hours, she was turning around, getting better. And it's, you know, two years later and, you know, just got a video of her running through a sprinkler with her sisters for the first time. And, just a happy, healthy member of her family after having a really tough year. And I think that, I always use that as an example in the ICU when I come up with some harebrained idea. I'm like, do you remember when you let me just do that for just 24 hours? I'm like, every now and then, if you just have faith that something, just be willing to push the envelope, be willing to think outside the box. And she reminds me of that on a daily basis.